Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Farhan bin Zohaimi and my student matrix number is B08201273 In this video, I would like to present a mini project assignment on the subject of electrical and magnetism I will present this assignment with my comrades in arms, Lampo Taren He will discuss Fleming's left hand rule and the principle of Lorentz law The title given to fulfill the requirements of this assignment is how simple it is for a DC motor to work for the introduction for this project, we have done some research to prove that it is easy for DC motors to work. A DC motor is any of a class of rotary electrical motors that converts direct current electric energy into mechanical energy. The most common types rely on the forces produced by magnetic fields. Nearly all types of DC motors have some internal mechanism, either electromechanical or electronic. To periodically change the direction of current in part of the motor, DC motors were the first form of motor widely used as they could be powered from existing direct current lighting power distribution systems. A DC motor's speed can be controlled over a wide range, using either a variable supply voltage or by changing the strength of current in its field's winding. Small DC motors are used in tools, toys, and appliances. The universal motor can operate direct current but is a lightweight brush motor used for portable power tools and appliances. Larger DC motors are currently used in proportion of electric vehicles, elevator, and hoist, and in drive for steel rolling mills. The advent of power electronics has made replacement of DC motors with AC motors uh, for possible in many applications. The main question is, how simple DC motor works? An electrical motor is an electrical machine which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. The basic working principle of a DC motor is Whenever a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a mechanical force. The direction of this force is given by Fleming's left hand rule and its magnitude is given by F equal to BIL, where B equal to magnetic flux density, I equal to current and L equal to length of the conductor within the magnetic field. This animation helps in understanding the working principle of DC motor. When armature windings are connected to a DC supply, an electric current sets up the winding. Magnetic field may be provided by field winding electromagnetism or by using permanent magnets. In this case, current carrying armature conductors experience a force due to the magnetic field according to the principle stated. The commutator is made segmented to achieve unidirectional torque, otherwise the direction of force will have reversed every time when the direction of movement of conductor is reversed in the magnetic field. This is how a DC motor works. Next, my partner Lampo Tarun will explain more about Fleming's left hand rule and principle of Lorentz Hi, law. My name is Lampo Tarun and I am from and I'll be continuing on Fle Fleming's left hand rule. So basically, Fleming's left hand rule is we are using our left hand rule to indicate the force, magnetic field, and the flow of current. So the thumb indicates the force, the index finger indicates the magnetic field, and the middle finger indicates the flow of current. For a better view, I will now demonstrate on how to use Fleming's left hand rule for motor. As we can know, the flow of magnetic field is always from north to south and the direction of current is always from positive to negative. So, in this diagram, you can see that the uh, flow of magnetic field is from north to south and the direction of current is from positive to negative, from top to bottom. Therefore, you can easily find the flow of force or motion by using the Fleming's left hand rule. All you need to do is use your left hand and just rearrange your fingers according to the diagram. So you can see 
not to solve this magnetic magnetic field. So that is the fault in your index finger. And positive to negative is the flow of current, so you can use your middle finger. As you rearrange your fingers, you can automatically figure out the, the flow of force which is going to the top. So this is how you use the Fleming's left hand rule for motors. Next, I'm going to talk about the principle of Lorentz law. In electromagnetism, the Lorentz force is the blend of electric and attractive power on a point charge due to electro electromagnetic fields. A particle of charge moving with a velocity in an electric field and a magnetic field experience a force. The electromagnetic force on a charge is a combination of a force in the direction of electric field proportional to the magnitude of the field and the quantity of charge and the force at right angles to the magnetic field and the velocity of the charge and also proportional to the magnitude of field, the charge and the velocity. Variation on this basic formula describes the magnetic force on a current carrying wire. The electromotive force in a wire loop moving through a magnetic field and the force on a moving charged particle. So basically the formula for Lorentz law is force equal to electric charge times with external electric field plus with velocity times with magnetic field. Now we will demonstrate a small experiment on how DC motor works. The items we use are very simple which contains battery, copper wire, masking tape, magnet and long nose pliers.
Thank you.